Well, good evening. We are ready to start. Let's hope everybody connects soon.
Hello, teacher. Good evening. Walter, good evening. How are you? Oh, I'm a day very, very easy. Easy day. Oh, that's cool. Easy day. What time did you finish working? Uh, finish working is a uh, uh, 5, uh, 45 p.m. Yes. 5.45. Okay. What time did you get home? Oh, um, 6, 6 p.m. 6, 10 minutes. So, so. Uh, pretty okay. close. I I live in I live in near in my world, my house. That's good. Oh yes, for me no problem, teacher. Is uh, I had war. Is very, very, very good, very good. Um, I'm near uh, my work. Es una ventaja. How do you say? It is an advantage. It is an Alberto. Let me text oh, it yes. for you. Okay. It is an Albanish. Albanish. It is, yes, like this. It is an Albanish. Oh, yes. It is, it is an Albana. Oh, yes. Albanish. Perfect. Albanish. Um, I had the partners and to leave him. And they live in um, department Sonsonate, department, Ooh. yeah, department Santana, and the city Lourdes Colón, the city Lepango. Is the different, is the different place I live in, my partners. Walter is near <laughs> yeah you are lucky yes uh, uh for the moments um and i go in and i go into war is a uh, 10 minutes 10 minutes uh de la hora de entrar before checking in before checking in, teacher, is um, Walter and six and six and for uh, 45 minutes. <laughs> I go into yeah, work. I mean, you don't have a problem. Yes, you have a problem. The distance, a problem. The distance works on your advantage, right? Yes, and no problem with traffic, and no problem the the anything, no, excuse me, noring. I no problem the noring. Okay, well, Walter, welcome to the class. Thank you. Nice having you here. Welcome, teacher. Okay, let's see. Daniel, hello, Daniel. Are you available? Hi, teacher. Yeah, I'm not like a hundred percent, but I'm available. Are you home? You're always I working. Am, yeah, I'm working, but I am arriving home uh, really soon. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Let me know when you get home so we can have our conversation, okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Jose, Jose Osorio, hello, good evening, how are you? Good evening, teacher, how are you? On your way home? Yes, teacher, I'm at home. You're home already? I'm here, teacher. Oh, Excuse that's me, good. teacher? You're home already? Yes, teacher. That's good, that's good. So what time did you get home today? I always getting home get at 
five past fifteen. Okay, that's early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's and true. That's true. So you can relax a little bit with your family. Yes, teacher. A little. Uh, I just seen a, a, a series. Lucky. Okay. Before the class. Uh huh. That's nice. That's nice. So tell me. Uh, how was your day? What did you do today? Anything interesting mm. happening? Mm, yes, teacher. Uh, today, the company has implemented a strategy to increase the production resistance in a specific operation. And that made me have more activities than is usual. Uh, but now I am willing to pay close attention and learn something new. That's true. That's true. Today we are going to learn something new. That's for sure. Thank you, Jose, and welcome to the class. You're welcome. Lucero, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm a little witty and optimistic. And you? Well, you know, a good day, another day, another dollar. Okay. And tell me, how was your day? What did you do today? Okay, today was working and I will tell you about some activities. For example, I impressed uh, many notices because because it's for customer. On the next Friday, uh, the company is going to get maintenance to water tank. And um, okay. beside us, when I, when I came back to my home, I broke, I broke my heart because I, I saw one dog walk on the street and and he appeared and very thin and angry and hungry and I and I brought pupusas and other food and and I gave gave him and I and I got got sad and finally and finally, my day was normal, and and I am ready to to receive your class. Okay, well, interesting. Thank you very much for sharing with us, and welcome to the class, Lucero. Thank you, teacher. Ambar, hello, Ambar. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Ambar. Tell me, do we have the good news today? Uh, well, I I start to introduce the documents the at uh, at the system, but uh, but now um, how do you say aún no termino? But no. Oh, hold on. Very nice expression, Amber. You are telling me, but on um, but. I am not done yet. Like this, I am not done yet. I am not done yet. Oh, but I hey, hope to tomorrow finish myself, say. That's cool, that's cool. So, I mean, you're still on the schedule, right? Yes. Excellent, excellent. I mean, every little thing helps to to get to the goal, right? Yes, uh, I now already I I go you to reach, my goal, but uh, I already reached my goal. I already reached my goal. Oh, that's good, but this is extra and extra is always good. Exactly, it's extra. Yeah, that's good, that's good, excellent. 
Thank you for sharing with me, Ambar. Always a pleasure. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Maria Alejandra. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm just fine. Let's see. Uh, now, tomorrow is your... Oh, tomorrow is your day off, right? <laughs> yes, tomorrow is my day off. So you but, are relaxed but, yeah. today. Mm, yes, I feel relaxed because don't worry because mañana, mm, tomorrow I did. I... I don't work. Don't work. I don't work tomorrow. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Let me see. You're gonna go visit your dad. You're gonna go visit your mom. Right? Yes. Is yes. my routine. But I feel excited because today give me my mm, or give me. Uh -huh. Me dieron, sería. Uh -huh. They gave me my car. No, gave me my no. appointment. Oh, I thought you got your car ready. Come on. I I think or maybe I have uh, my car one month ago and it's stay in my garage because I don't have a pla a place or como se dice placa? Plates. 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 Uh -huh. And I prefer don't use and stay in my garage. <laughs> I prefer not to use it. I prefer not to use it and stay in my garage. But mm. uh, the mm. next week, have my appointment in Iser Tracen. Yeah. For experticia. Oh. <laughs> yes, and mm. finally. That's um, cool, that's cool. Yes. And la espera terminada, ¿cómo sería? <laughs> okay, it's like this. It's like this. You say the waiting is over. Uh, the You're waiting such a dramatic over. girl. <laughs> yes, Fast and Furious in Ways in El Salvador. You, yeah. you have a. <laughs> we gotta be careful have, with you. We gotta you be have careful. a careful <laughs> when you visit San Salvador to near to Paso del Jaguar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be like, I'll be like in the washout of a four. Yours is a four fiesta? No, four focus. Four focus. Yeah, I'll be like on the move checking out if, if there comes <laughs> and I'm gonna go like this. But you know my schedule and you... <laughs> I'll try to avoid it. I'll try to avoid it. <laughs> okay. Hey, Maria. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. William. Hello, William. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, mister? Very happy. Thank you, Mama. Oh, okay. How was your day? It was perfect. Uh, my mom and I go uh, comí una costilla, teacher. How do you oh, say? Oh, you ate ribs. Uh, my mom and I go, I ribs. ate ribs uh, with vegetable. Mm, that's good. Cool. That's cool. Yes, I had to meal. Yeah, but don't talk about food with us, man. There's some of us who have not had dinner yet. I mean, I have dinner at 10 30. Come on, man. No, it's okay. It's okay. So good it's that you are perfect. like <laughs> you got your dinner ready and you're ready to rest after the class, right? Uh right now it's not me teacher. Oh, really? And there are many young people who has been mm. lost. Okay, well, you know, 
the situation, the, like the, the situation in country is uh, very it's, bad. It's this complex, topic. it's very complex. William, welcome to the class. We will talk. We will talk later. Okay. Let's see who else is around. Hello, Claudia. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Fine. Just fine. Thank you very much. Tell me, anything new happening today? You finished grading? Yes, teacher. Or no okay. teacher, no teacher. Come on. <laughs> no, todavía me falta teacher. I'm still missing. I'm still missing? Okay. okay. Hold on, it's like this. I am still missing some. I'm still missing some. Okay. Aún me faltan algunos. Some. Missing some. Okay. Yeah, that means aún me faltan algunos. Okay. Okay. Well, and so when do you finish working? You just um, finish October? No, I finish um November. Oh, so November is trainings. Yes. Oh, yes. How do you fair. say? How do you say recuperación? Recovery. Okay. Recovery. Yeah, recovery. Okay. Okay. Well, let's hope everything goes according to the plan, Claudia. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. How's everything, Wilfredo? Let me, give me one second, teacher, please. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, how's everything? How was your day? Anything will happening today? Mm, it was interesting, teacher, because we had to go over there all day, running, running, because we had to finish to package. Um, we had to products. finish packaging. Yes. Packaging, yes. Packaging all the last what order that we start and um, uh, yesterday we start started. then we have to finish today because we we don't have to um, no debemos de. we don't have to yes it's okay yes we don't have to to open a uh, word order opening for the next week because okay. all have to be finished um, now or tomorrow in the morning tomorrow in the morning we have to finish it yes so because, you, you uh, are on a tomorrow rush. yes tomorrow we have to start to to inventory yesterday i told you but it is it is slow slow because another years um from wednesday all we always we estábamos we we were in well we were yeah almost, uh, doing but it is it is our job and this is occupational hazard in my job sometimes we have to to work until late 
For example, sometimes um, many years ago, I remember that we finished uh, the journal or our our schedule around 1 a.m. Yeah. or 2 p.m. And the next day we have to start at um, 7, 7 a.m. 7? But, uh, in, in the next day we always oh, okay. have um, um, un par de horas. A couple of um, hours? You say a couple, a couple of hours? Yeah, a couple hours to sleep. But it is only a week. It is finished quickly. Yeah. Oh, let's hope everything goes according to the plan. Thank you very much. Oh, by the way, Wilfredo, now that I see your t-shirt, your team changed like trainer, it. right? Yeah. Your, your team changed trainer. Yes. Now, poor, poor Barca. But yeah. It is getting bad. getting shower over day. How do you say, teacher? Um, le está cayendo sobre sobre mojado. <sighs> now, now I, I lost another match. Sunday lost classic. But I hear a news today that. El Bochinche Portillo is going to start to train in the Barça. Is it, oh, really? Yes. It's still Our very friend, bad. Our friend was... <laughs> it's still very bad. I... Very bad, you, Wilfredo. <laughs> okay. Yes. Do you, your expression, the expression you asked me for, Wilfredo, I'm going to explain it to the class. Uh, it doesn't make sense, but it goes like this, look. Uh, you know, when it rains, it pours. Yes. When it rains, it pours. That idea in Spanish, the idea, not the translation, the idea for us will be lloviéndole eh, sobre mojado. Pero es, I'm sorry guys, I'm going to explain in Spanish. Esta expresión, en este caso muy específico, es un modismo. ¿okay? Entonces, eh, la idea que nosotros transmitimos en español cuando decimos me llueve sobre mojado, le está lloviendo sobre mojado, en inglés el equivalente más cercano sería when it rains, it pours. Just remember, it's a modism. Al ser un modismo, it doesn't make sense if you translate it directly. Si usted lo, eh, si usted lo quiere traducir, no tiene sentido. Okay? Porque sería cuando llueve, eh, force es la acción de vaciar un líquido. That's force. Cuando llueve, se vacía. I mean, it wouldn't make sense at all. No tendría sentido para nada. But, but, that's the closer the idea is this one. When it rains, it pours. Okay? Okay. But, um, for, for the future, it's going to be a big thing again, Barça. Well, um, let's hope so. Let's hope so. I mean, they got to work a lot. Okay. They got to work a lot. Thank you, Wilfredo. <laughs> nice talking to you. Welcome to Jerry. Susana, where are you, Susana? Where's Susana? I saw her. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, where? Susana. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks, teacher. Okay. How's everything? Tell me. Um, yeah. uh, only... Regular. <laughs> I'm still. I'm still. I'm still um, working. I am working in my house. Oh, really? Yes, teacher. I am. 
eh, sería, I am home, home office. Oh, yeah, it's right. It's, it's nothing uh, different. <laughs> okay, well, so the same routine every single day. Cooking, um, the working. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. What else can we do, Susana? I mean, it's a routine. <laughs> yeah, it's Me part of the routine, like, part of the everyday activities. Susana, yeah. welcome to the class. Thank, thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see who else. Okay, well, before we move on, uh, let me please get the attendance, guys. Amber Elia Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Nicolás Atilio Méndez, Méndez Granados. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Uh, Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Chevani Rosales Galdez. Present teacher. Janira Elizabeth Asensio García. Okay, let's see, let's see who else do we have here to talk to. We still got a few minutes. Roxana, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. I'm fine, thank you, and you? I'm just fine, just fine. Tell me, how was the day? What did you do today? Well, my day, it was very busy because I had I have some meetings and I have some cases, but everything is okay. And I think that it was a productive day. And after that, after working, I took to my son and having dinner in Plaza Mundo and I just arrived at home. I am just arriving. I am just arriving at home. I am just arriving home. I am just arrived at home. Arriving, arriving. Arriving at home. Okay, let me text it for you, okay? Okay. It goes like this. Pero eso sería estoy llegando a casa. Yo dije, acabo de llegar. No, I just lo estoy arrived. Poniendo, I am just. Desde el momento que lleva el just, quiere decir que acaba de suceder. Okay, Roxana. Okay. Say, yeah, I, I get just... it. Yeah, but I get it. Pero por el por el verbo le decía porque yo lo dije arrive como en pasado llegué. Oh no, no but when arriving. you say I am just arriving home. Just mean que acaba de suceder, okay? Okay. Okay. Like uh, I was, listen, I can say it in past. I was just talking to Wilfredo, no more. 
Mm -hmm. Or if you want, you can also say, in your case, I just arrived home. The difference ah, between okay. I am just arriving home and I just arrived home is a few minutes. Okay. When you say I am just arriving home, imagine that I call you. Hey, Roxana, where are you? Uh, you are not connected into the class and you tell me, hey, teacher, I am just arriving home. That means okay. that you are just getting into the house. The, continu passing the, the, door. the action, the, ah, okay, the action is, con is continua. Arriving home. Es como que la acción, la acción continúa en ese momento. Could be. Or is pretty, pretty recent. Okay. When you say, I just arrived home, that depends on the point of view. I mean, that could have been, I tell you, well, you know, I just arrived home half an hour ago. Okay. And, and I say, minutes. I just arrived at home. Uh-huh. So tell me, how long, ago did you, how long ago did you get home? Hace cuánto llegó a casa? Okay, I uh, arrived home in 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago. Okay, mm -hmm. you can say, yeah, in this case, you can say, I just arrived home. Okay. So, how was, how was the, the, the mall? Crowded. A lot of people. Mm, no, I, uh, currently uh, in Plaza Mundo, it was, uh, I think, uh, pocas personas, uh, many people. A few people, a few people. A, a few people, uh, because uh, I guess they don't have the payment now. Not yet. I don't know, maybe, not yet. Maybe, I don't know. Well, um, in my case, I chose uh, this Plaza Mundo because I wanted to eat um, Quizno soup. So I uh, take my uh, parking too close to, um, to Quizno. So I don't know the rest of the, of the mall, but in that, um, place it was very uh, alone bastante solo oh really that's yeah. good yeah so you like sandwiches mm, yeah so so but me my son uh, loves sandwich loves quizno soup and in a uh, subway oh, yeah. i prefer uh, i don't know Mexican food or something different, but today I wanted to eat with him and and he wants a um, Quiznos too. He wants to. It's okay. He wants to. He wants to. He wants to. Uh, Quiznos and for me it's okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just give me a second, Roxana. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So sandwiches. Mm, yeah, it depends. It depends. For me, I love pizza. You love pizza? I, yeah. Like yesterday, I had a, a, a an eight portions pizza for myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Actually, I, I have the pizza. I have garlic bread. Half a I little of beer. Cold. And I was okay, completely full. Nice. Quiznos uh, have a promotion for today because they have a pizza two for one, but my son prefers sandwich. So I can't uh, buy pizza, a promotion of pizza because I can't eat a lot pizza. So I, I bought a 
a sandwich too. No, no problem. There's delivery. You can send it okay. here. You know it's going to be accepted. <laughs> you Thank are you, too far. Okay, teacher. Yeah, I know. I know. Welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I still got people here. Francisco. Hello, Francisco. Oops, I think Francisco is having a problem. Let's see, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, teacher. <laughs> oh, there's Francisco. Hello, man. How are you? Just fine, teacher. Uh, when do you go back to work? And uh, on Sunday, teacher. On Sunday, mm. I started in, in afternoon shift. Oh my God, so the happiness is almost over. <laughs> the happiness is finishing. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I mean, well, that's the way it goes, my friend. That's the sure. <laughs> yeah, and, in, and in, your, in your job, there's no holidays, right? Not the sure. I is a... Uh, uh, we working all day, three, three hundred sixty five. <laughs> okay, you say it twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. That's it, you're right? Wow, there are nuts. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, but anyway, that's the way it goes. So, I imagine sure that for, this. For, yes, tell me. Uh, how, how do you say por un lado? On a way. Or, by the way. No, on a way. Ah, on a way. On a way. On a way, on a way uh, is, is not, not bad working in a, in a holiday because oh, yeah. the. The, the payment is it, more. Yes, they should. For 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 that way, it's it's not 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 bad. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But in the other side, or you can say like this: on the other hand, on the other on the other hand. On the other hand, it's uh, a lot of work. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It is I mean, it's not good uh, in uh, Christmas or in a uh, in um uh, or to a New Year, teacher, because yes. uh, there are moments that we. We stay in home with your family. Yeah, by the way, I know, I know exactly, I know exactly what you mean, Francisco. Right now, okay, I you. imagine you are. I can hear that you are with your family, right? Okay, Francisco. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Let's see. Sylvia, hello, Sylvia. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What about you? I'm just fine. I like it. Whenever I call you, you're like, cheer up. That's cool. <laughs> yes. I am home uh, now. Oh, really? That's cool. What time did you finish working today? Today at 7, because uh, they have... I changed my schedule a little bit. So sometimes um, I finished at seven instead of at eight. Okay, that's that's actually better for you, right? You get home yeah, earlier. Yeah, it's better for me because I can get home early and I can connect earlier to the class. Yeah, that's even better for me. So I can have yeah. you here earlier. Yeah, yes. so tell me, how was the day? Something good, uh, something 
no, it was the same. Anything new? I I started at twelve and then I finished at seven. So I okay. had to do, I had to work. And, and, and what's the plan that. for tomorrow? Because tomorrow is tomorrow your day is off, my right? day off. Yes, yeah, I don't no, have any no, plans. No. I don't have any plans until now, but in the morning I have to go to La Libertad. I don't like to go, but I have to because I need to get I need to go to the market and buy some mm. some food or something for the week. Yeah, and it's hot traveling. Yeah, like it's very morning. hot. The, the bus is crowded. People oh, yeah. is shouting. <laughs> yeah, and and the worst thing is to be waiting for the bus to to, oh, yeah. to leave to leave because, because they park right regular. there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it oh, every sometimes every 45 minutes yeah which one or, do you take the one from la perla or the one from chiquipan uh whatever which the first one whichever <laughs> whichever whichever i catch the first one yeah. <laughs> i just want to go to yeah, I imagine it. I imagine it. Yeah, because the weather there is terrible and to be waiting at noon, man, it's horrible. I, yeah, that happened to me uh, once I was in a training for four months. Mm -hmm. Every single day I was at La Libertad on my way to Chiquipa. Every single day I was at La Libertad at 12 30. Okay. From Monday to Friday, it was horrible. I can imagine, yes. It's very hard to travel every yeah, day. And I, and I was in the bus like this, you know. <laughs> it was yeah. crazy. Transportation and the weather is horrible. Yeah. Terrible, terrible. Sylvia, welcome to the class. Thank you. Thank you, Didier. Okay, let's see. I just got, I think I just got two or three more people. Let's see. Fernando. Hello, Fernando. How are you? Hello, teacher. Um, I'm fine. I'm still working, but fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that time of the month, right? Yeah, uh, right. Uh, by the closing of the month. Yeah, uh, it's that time it's the of usual. the month. Yeah. Yeah, you know. That's part of everyday working, right? Right. Yeah, in, in my case, well, in Claudia's, in my case, it's that time of the year, you know? Oh, yeah, at this, by the, at this by time the, of final, the year, final evaluation. Yeah, there's, it's not just evaluation, it's a lot of paperwork. Oh. Yeah. A lot, yeah. lots of paperwork. You know, some documents we have to make to make the same documents like four or five times. Man, that's yeah. crazy. But yeah. I mean, it's part of the job, right? Yeah, you should move uh, your documentation to digital. Still, it is digital. We have to, we have to get into the system everything but right. still uh, the problem is not us the problem is like in this case the ministry of education i mean they make uh, many many processes pretty redundant uh, right. you know there is some info that mm -hmm. is that it's already in the system since march and uh, last month they made us check it out all that information one more time then these two weeks they are making us the same information we have to to fill it in a pdf because they are going to cross reference exactly the same information so we have introduced that information three times this year it's oh. unnecessary yeah the minister the ministry the ministry? The ministry of education yeah okay the ministry needs change in your process yeah but as i tell you i mean 
it's very redundant. And last time they they migrate servers, man, it was terrible. <laughs> we lost students. Oh. Yeah, we have to get them all in again. Terrible, terrible. Yeah, but it's the bread daily or the, the yeah. daily bread. <laughs> yeah, it's the daily bread. It's the daily bread. Yeah, you know, that happens. I mean, it's, it's part of the job. Yeah. I mean, if the job is if, not just the, the good parts, the funny parts. Yeah, if, if your work wouldn't be uh, like this, you possible you you are boring <laughs> yeah you will get bored i will you will get bored yeah of course i mean every day is a new a new task and you know we have to face it in a different way fernando but, welcome to the class thank you and see nice you talking to you thank you let's see i still got i think i just got two more daniel Hello, Daniel. You go home already? I could swear I saw Daniel right here. Hi, teacher. There you are. Hello, Daniel. How's everything? Um, everything's fine. And what about you? I'm just fine, just fine. Happy to see that for one day you are a little bit early at home. Yeah, uh, well, that's a good news for me because I have around, I don't know, a lot of time uh, working at night. But today I say to the employees, you know, uh, calm down and we go out at for uh, PM and then I start uh, checking and other stuff, but right now I am finally at home. Yeah, I mean it's good to to get home, relax. I mean, get the get the comfortable T-shirt. Yeah. The sandals. I mean to to just to breathe. Yeah, it's a yeah. Whole different that's sensation, that's we, right? We need yeah. Well, Daniel, let's see and tell me, when you finish in the project, you told me you're finishing one right now, right? Yeah. Uh, hopefully, Tuesday, you told me. Yeah, on Tuesday. The plan is until, well, even we work on Sunday, finish on Monday, because Tuesday it's a, a sueto, como se dice? Holiday. It's holiday. So it's really expensive to pay the workers that day. Okay. Well, let's hope everything goes according to plan. Welcome and thank you, Daniel. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Let's see, there's Nathanael. Hello, Nathanael. How are you? I am fine, and you? Well, happy. I was worried that you were not in class. I was like, man, where's Nathanael? He doesn't like the class <laughs> today. Sorry, I, I, um, I went to buy something, and 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 so you I got need late. To... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, this expression, it got late, se hizo tarde. Ah, okay. It got late. I, I never so heard this expression. Yes. Oh, yeah, when you say, oh, man, I was doing some things and it got late. Se me hizo tarde. Okay. okay. Great. But ah, uh, it's always good, always good to get new vocabulary, right? Yeah. It is is good for for us. Yeah, no, actually, you know something funny. It's good for me also because whenever I'm talking to you, I mean, I get to practice, and besides that, uh, I get to remember vocabulary that I know but I don't actually usually use. Like yesterday, I say I remember pan out was 
something that I know, but I don't usually use. Today, let's see who was uh, with Wilfredo. We were talking about llueve sobre mojado, and in English, when it rains, it pours. Yeah. Okay. In your case, we got it got late with Francisco. We got on the other hand, on the way, 24 seven. So whenever we are like having this type of exercise, it's helpful actually for both of us because it helps me to practice and to not to forget vocabulary, to keep the fluency. And it's always good to remember. And in your case, to get to know new words, right? Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Um, so, um, the day is, um, usually it's very, very, um, usually in, 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 in um, the, the schedule is very full and so it's, it's complicated to, to separate, um, sometimes to, to know about, uh, this expression, uh, it's, uh, it's a good for us. Yeah, well, no, thanks to you guys for sharing with me. Thank you, Nathanael, and welcome. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's see. Do you remember that um, two days ago we were working with indirect questions and you were like kind of dubious with the indirect questions? You remember when I we were talking about, I wonder if, uh, would you mind telling me? Right? You remember those expressions? So today we're going to go one step further, okay? Because the other day we were working with just no question. And if you remember in English, we have two types of questions. We have information questions and just no questions. The just no questions are already covered. The information question, as the name says, are the ones uh, by which we get, we ask for information. Like when I ask you, uh, what time did you get home? Uh, how was your day? What did you have for dinner? How was the, I remember asking Roxana, how was the mall? Okay. So those are information questions. You remember what, where, when, why, how, who, okay? Because to answer questions structure using that specific vocabulary, we are supposed to provide some information, right? Like if I ask you, uh, let's see who, 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 who. Fernando. Yes, teacher. Okay, Fernando, tell me, what time do you expect to finish working this night? Tonight? Uh, I expect to uh, finish my work and finish my work around 11 p.m. maybe. That's hard. Thank you very much, Fernando. <laughs> okay, another WH question will be like, let's see, please remind me, guys, who else is working in this moment at home? There's Fernando, but who else? Quien más? If I'm not mistaken, Nathanael and Susana, I guess. Nicolás is working in this moment. So if you see, when I ask who, I'm asking the information. I need the information. I'm requesting for the information. Now, when you ask indirect questions, you also can make them using WH question. You can also make them get, trying to get information. Let me show you from your manuals a little bit about that, okay? So you see, how to use indirect question information questions. Indirect information questions are not introduced by if. This one disappears, okay? Instead, in su lugar, they are introduced with a WH word. So look at the example, I wonder what the two pieces I need to weld are? It's the same question. What are the two pieces I need to weld? The second example. I like to know when the provider will send the order of screws. Look, 
When will the provider send the order of screws? Then, would you mind telling us how much the provider charges to, charge to process the order? In a direct question will be, how much does the provider charge to process the order? That's direct. But in this case, in the indirect, would you mind telling us? Look at the next example. Would you let me know what time the first batch is expected to be complete? Look, what time is the first batch expected to be complete? Helping verbs like do, does, and did are not included in indirect questions. If the introductory segment is a phrase, use a period at the end of the indirect question. If the phrase is a question, use a question mark. Okay, in this case, the phrase, would you mind, that's a question. That's why we have a question mark here. Would you let me know? That's a question. That's why we have the question mark here, okay? In this case, look, I wonder, this is not a question. That's why we have a period. I like to know. It's not a question. That's why we have a period. Okay? So that's what really is going to tell us if we are making as an affirmative or as a question. Remember, in both cases, all of them are questions. Okay? The only difference is that when you say, I wonder, or I like to know, in this case, the sentence is going to be structured as an affirmative sentence. In this case, when you got, would you mind, or would you let me? In this case, as this one, this phrase is a question, we are going to place the question mark at the end. Okay, now, because I know this, just to see it like the grammar point is not the same as to trying to, to apply them. So we are going to make an exercise. Actually, we are going to make two exercises. First, I'm going to send you to work in pairs. I'll need you to structure two indirect questions. In this case, information questions. You just need to create two working in pairs. But I need you to create questions that you will ask another classmate, okay? Questions that you will ask another classmate. That's the first part of the exercise. Now, the second part of the exercise is that I will send you back again with a different person so you can ask that person your questions, okay? So in the first one, you're going to create the questions with a partner. In the second one, you are going to ask an answer. Am I clear, guys? Yes? Two questions, teacher. I'm sorry? Two questions. Yeah, just two questions. Okay. Tienen que crearme dos, okay? Two questions, working in pairs. Let me get the attendance before we move there. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Natanael Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. 
Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Presente, señor. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Okay, guys, remember, you're going to be working in pairs and you are supposed to create two questions. Okay? You don't need to ask an answer. You just create the question. When we come back, we are going to work on them. Let me check on something, guys. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just fixing up something in the groups. Just give me a second. Okay, groups are created, guys. Please jump in. You're going to have four minutes to create a, your questions and then we come back. Okay, hurry up. Hello. Hello, Roxana. Roxana is asleep. <laughs> no. Why did you say that, teacher? I could bet you are in your bed right now, very relaxed. No, teacher. I have a headache right now. I got a headache. I got or I have? I got. Informal, informal. Informally speaking, I got, I got a headache. For I got month, a oh, headache. I, ha I have a headache. Bueno, I, ha I have a headache. <laughs> yeah, no bueno, that doesn't exist here. I have, <laughs> I have, sorry. I have a headache. Oh, really? Yeah. I think, that I, visit, I, I think that I need to visit a doctor. <laughs> It's so frequently. Oh, really? It is a problem. Yeah. Uh, too much you need stress. our glasses. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. She told you you are blind. Oh. <laughs> you need glasses. glasses. No. Oh. Why you stay in a computer for a long yeah. time? In affect your. Right. Now Ooh. she's. Now she's softening it. She I can? use a glass. <laughs> wears, wears. Wear. I wear glasses. Yes, wear. I wear glasses. But do you? I don't remember. I never see you again, Maria Alejandra. No. I don't use frequently. So but I, don't I, I, I barely remember you. She always is eating at class, teacher. <laughs> Do you remember when, yeah. She, yeah, she tore off the camera when she's eating? Yeah, I know. So maybe she is class eating. Yeah, <laughs> it's probably. Okay, guys, do the questions. Okay, I'm going. okay. You well, don't work. Um, hmm. well, okay, the question. Mm, would you like, would you let, I'm um, sorry, I don't know what happened to me. Would you let me know if you worked today? Yes, I worked today. Okay, okay, I mean, yes, teacher. Yes. Would you help me help us, please? The, the activity is 
making make some questions using the WX? questions. Yes. Ah, using okay. the indirect, the indirect questions. It's like this. Uh, hey, Wilfredo, I like to know. Uh, I like to know if you are a Real Madrid fan. Ah, okay. I like to know if uh, what is like this. If the, the 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 Ronald Koeman is is out. Yes. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Wilfredo, would you mind telling me how is uh, Alianza doing in this tournament? Excuse me. I, I can hear you well. Uh, excuse me. Excuse would me. you mind? Would you mind telling yes. me how Alianza is doing in the tournament? Alianza oh. is the last one. Oh really? I don't. I don't actually know. You know. I don't watch. Yeah, no, I don't have time to watch. Usually on Sundays and Saturdays, I'm working. I, I guess uh, Alianza lost the match. Oh, that's bad. Yes. I'm gone. I'm gone, guys. And bye bye. El pasito. Hey, Wilfredo, <laughs> you, are you, are you um, Barça teams? No, he's fast. Oh, Barça. Oh, yeah. the, 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 the shirt is, uh, is uh, the Barça. Yes, yes, of course. But in El Salvador, Hello guys, you made the questions? Sure. Uh, I, I just... Uh, you got ribbon. Tom? Yes, teacher, just a uh, ribbon. Arriving, arriving. Sorry, teacher. No problem, no it problem. We will talk in the main room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, let's see. Everybody's coming back in now. Three, two, one, and it's time. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's going to start? Nathanael, please. Ask your question, one of your questions to Daniel. To, to what? One of your questions to Daniel, please. Ah, okay. Daniel, I'd like to know what is um, Ronald Koeman is out for Barca team? Daniel. Daniel. Sorry, I mean, that's follow soccer. No, have time. Question. He would like to know uh, if you know about the Ronald Koeman not being the Barca trainer no more. Uh, yeah, I have. I am not. Um, no, estoy enterado cómo sería. Teacher. Up to date. I'm not sure. Up to date. No, I am. I am not up to date with that okay thank you that's okay it's valid you know it's not up to date with soccer okay now daniel please ask your questions one of your questions to wilfredo okay 
eh, Wilfredo. Tell me. I wonder what do you dinner today? Oh, of what course. what did you have for dinner? Cool. Yeah, what did you have for dinner? What did I have for dinner? Uh, I mix eggs with beans and tomato. Okay. I, this this is oh, my favorite really dinner. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scramble eggs. Scramble. Scramble eggs. Scramble. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Daniel. Now, uh, Wilfredo, please ask one of your questions to Fernando. Okay. And Fernando, will you tell me, please, if are you going to work for this weekend? I sorry. Will would you, you tell, tell me, us please? if if you are going to work this weekend? Are you going to uh, work this weekend? Weekend. Uh, it's, it's possible because it's the end of the month. It's very possible. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's most probably. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Thank you, Wilfredo. <laughs> yeah. Fernando, please, I need you to ask. Uh, let's see. Where's Walter? Walter. You're going to ask Walter. Okay, Walter. Tell me. Tell me. Walter, will you let me know what time your work activity begins? Ooh. Activity? Your yeah. working activities. What time do you check in okay. to your company? Oh, okay. Uh, my activities is um, I'll review to the May and check the May. No, what oh. time? What time? Ah, okay, okay. Excuse me. Um, my activities start. My, okay. my activities start at seven o'clock. Um, I had um, a lunch uh, for if I minutes? 45 minutes. Yes, and finish work um, for 45 p.m. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Fernando. Walter, do you have a question ready? Yes. Okay, let's see. You are going to ask uh, Francisco. Okay, Francisco. Uh, when the, when do you finish class? When do you finish classes? Well, when there. Francisco. I, I, I yes, don't yes, understand. He's called what time do you finish? Yeah, what time do you finish classes, Francisco? Uh, what time? Yeah, I, finish my English class. Yeah? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I finish uh, my class to 10 p.m. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Thank you, Walter. Look, Francisco, you can also say it this way. Because if you use the class as a subject, you can say it finishes at 10 p.m. It's finished. Okay, Look in the chat, it finishes. I, I see teacher, I see that. Okay, Thank you, perfect. Teacher. Thank you. Francisco, do you have a question ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, please ask your question to Roxana. Okay. Roxana, uh, I'd like to know what is your favorite movie? Hmm. Mm. My favorite movie is, I don't remember the name. <laughs> Como la primera vez. Adam, with Adam Sandler and, I don't know. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Drew Barry. Drew Barry. Yeah, yeah, hey. <laughs> yeah. A romantic comedy. I don't remember, yeah, I don't remember the name, but I guess Como la primera vez. Creo. No, 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 no. It has to be something like young week, stuff like that. I don't see, no, teacher, in my case, I don't see, I don't watch uh, movies or TV. I don't have life, you know. 
Yeah, yeah, you're a lie, Roxana. Okay, Roxana. Now, I please, Roxana, thank you, Francisco. Ask your question to Susana. Hello, Susana. Susana. I think Susana is not available. Okay, no problem. Roxana, ask Ambar. Ambar. Hello. Will you tell me now where do you grow, grow up? Where did you grow where? up? Ah. Where did you grow up? Where? Yeah, where? 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 Donde? Donde crecí? Yes, Correct. exactly. Uh, I grew up Blue. in Blue. San Salvador. I grew up in San Salvador. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Roxana. Nice question. Amber, please, would you mind asking your question to Lucero? Okay. Lucero, I like to know what is your favorite place for vacation? Lucero. Hmm. Looks like Lucero is also having problems with the connection. Please, Amber, I'm so sorry. Would you mind asking the question again, this time to Mr. Jose? Jose, are you available? Just this room available. Okay. Please, Amber. Hello, Jose. I like to know where is your favorite place for vacation? My favorite place for vacation is my house. <laughs> okay. Why? <laughs> you don't like going out. <laughs> for okay, me, thank you, Amber. It's enough. Okay, perfect. Jose, please ask your question to uh, Claudia. Claudia, hello. Uh, can you tell me what the time is? What time is it? What time, what is, time it? is it? And, is it? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what the time is? It's 9 20 p.m. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Nice. Okay, Claudia, your turn, please. I need you to ask your question to uh, Maria Alejandra. Okay, Maria Alejandra. When did you have vacation? When did you have? When? Cuando las tuve? Yeah, she wonders, she's wondering when do you have your vacation? I remember, I think that three weeks ago. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Maria Alejandra, ask your question to William, please. William, what do you will do in your next trip? Is correct. Uh -huh. What will you do in your in next week? What will you do next week? No, yeah, in your next trip. Oh, in your next trip, trip, mm -hmm. viaje, paseo. Yes. ¿Cuál será mi próximo viaje? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, ahora. The Oscar uh, visiting visiting on one mountain and. Near Zacatecoluca. Okay, perfect. Thank you. William, ask your question to Nathanael. Okay, Nathanael, my friend. Uh, Hello, what William. What play will you play right now? I'm sorry, I, I can hear you. What play will you 
play right now. What game? Jugar? What game? Yes. Oh, you practice, practice any sport? Yes. You practice any sport, Nathanael? I, I don't know, uh, but uh, today it's, um, uh, I don't know if, if I, I, I watch television. Uh, so <laughs> in, in, in today in the, in the, um, in the, and um, at about 12 uh, p.m. It's uh, only um, Sp Spanish uh, league. Not only, but okay. I don't know. Perfect, thank you. Now let's see, Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Hello. Hello, Ambar. Would you mind telling me um, what do you usually have for breakfast? I usually have breakfast for breakfast uh, beans with eggs and bread. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Ambar. Let's see. Uh, uh, um, Roxana. Hello. You know, I wonder, what's your husband's name? <laughs> my husband's name is Mauricio, like okay. my son. Oh, cool. Thank you. Perfect. Now, okay. let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, Jose. Hi, teacher. Jose, would you mind telling me what's your daughter's name? Uh, my daughter's name is Crisia Odali, like okay. her mother. Oh, cool. That's nice. The same case as like uh, Roxana's son. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yes. Maria Alejandra. Hi, teacher. You know, Maria Alejandra, uh, I wonder. I wonder where did you study high school? High school is a. Uh... High school is 9, 10, 11. Uh, in in Salvador will be in the suburb will be 10, 11, 12. Please tell me. I study in Garcia Flamenco. At, at. at Garcia Flamenco. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Nathanael, what about you? I would like to know where did you study uh, 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 high school? Um, I study in in Washington. Oh, really? Where there? Uh, um, um, it the name is um Humboldt. I'm sorry. Instituto Nacional Alejandro de Humboldt. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. I remember passing by there once. Yeah. Yeah. It's the in the principal street. It's uh is near it's um is is uh no actually I visited that school, the specific school. Really? Oh, ah yeah. okay. Yeah, a few many years ago I was training teachers. Okay. So I use I had to go to Santa Ana for Wachapan. Or okay, thank you. I'm in El Salvador. Yeah, you know, that's the way it goes. Let's see, let's see, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Sorry, I was speaking, speaking with the microphone of teacher. Okay. No problem, no problem. I got a question for you, Daniel. Look, I know that right now you are always very busy with your company and your commitments and stuff, but uh, I like to know, when you were studying high school, did you used to practice any sport? 
uh, yeah, but not like mm. professional. For example, I used to play with my friends. Okay, we which played, sport did you used to play? We played uh, soccer and basketball. Okay, soccer and basketball. Thank you. Excellent. Let's see, Sylvia. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, teacher. Okay, Sylvia. Let me see. Wow, I cannot make you that many questions about the past. Your past is pretty recent. Hey. Yes. Yeah, maybe. but yeah, you know, uh, but actually, uh, would you mind telling us what are your plans for the future, for the near future? For the near future? Um, yeah, like in a year, two years. Where do you see yourself in two years? Two years. Okay, right now, last Saturday, I started a computer course. A computer course, and uh, my goal is to finish that course. It's, I will finish it in three months. And I will continue studying English online. I will continue studying on my own, practicing. And next year, I am willing to. I'm willing to study uni the university. I have to oh. gather the information, then then I have to sign up. Yes. Yeah. That's cool. Congratulations. Thank you, teacher. And I wonder, what are you going? What are you planning to study at the university? I'm planning to study. Um, to reason for to tourists for um for companies i don't know okay that's right. yeah i know what you mean tourism 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 yeah the m is a little shorter tourism tourism yeah like that you like uh, you like uh chalk the sound mm, oh okay. interesting thank you Okay, you're welcome, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wilfredo. Hello, Wilfredo. I'm sorry. Wilfredo, let me see. I wonder, uh, which is your favorite soccer team? Ooh. Barça. Okay, what about from El Salvador? Um, I like to fast, but oh. I told I told with with Nathanael and I told I told her that I like to told him I told him I I told him I told him that I like um how playing Alianza, for example. Um, okay. And another team, I remember when, do you remember, teacher, Los Cuatro del Cuatro? Many years ago. Firpo, oh Paz, my gosh, Aguila. yeah. But yeah. that was a long while ago, my friend. Yes, yes. I like to watch, uh, watch it. Um, Alianza, Aguila, very, very, very nice when they 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 team uh, play but now i fast okay perfect okay okay guys now next exercise thank you very much all of you for your participation quite good actually now let's see the next exercise let me share with you what we're going to do. Okay, and the activity goes like this. Okay, look. 
we have to read the following text featuring tips on how to analyze the cost of a product. Then we are going to see some questions and we will have to answer them, okay? Now let's read it. This is an excerpt from thebalance.com, okay? But remember, this is found in the in support manual in page number 32. There are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the desired markup by the business. The cost of production. Fixed and variable costs determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume, like labor and materials. In pricing your product, first determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Although it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Now, you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Market demand for a product for a product or service. Market demand for a product or a service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As prices fall, demand rises, and as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just as important to consider when setting a price as this cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. Determining the markup of a product. Regardless of the type of small business, markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. Look, markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planned profit the type of product or service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the seller. Okay, guys. Now, I know there are questions with vocabulary, but we are not going to ask, address the vocabulary questions right now. What are we going to do right now? Right now, I'm going to send you to working groups and what you're going to do is this. What are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? In this case, at least two answers, okay? What are some examples of fixed costs? What are examples of variable costs? How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? What variables influence to determine the markup percentage? Okay, now, what are we going to do? Let's see, let me just check on something. Okay. Now, group number one is Daniel, Roxana, and Walter. You got question number one. Group number two is Maria Alejandra, Nathanael, and Susana. You got question number two. Group number three, Jose Osorio, Silvia Pineda, and William Rosales. You got just the question 
number three, okay? Group number four is Amber, Fernando, and Nicolás. You got question four. And group number five is Francisco and Wilfredo. You got question number five, okay? So each group is just going to answer one question, okay? Now, guys, please, let's jump in. You are going to have five minutes to answer the question. Which question you got? Your group number one. One. Yeah. <coughs> okay. 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 The cost of the production, the market demand for a for the product, and the decided markup markup by mm -hmm. the business. The These cost of the... production, market demand for a product or service, and the markup the business expects to get. Yes. Okay. What is the markup? Market is Martin. Mm. Yes, but that's in business, okay? okay? It's not margin. That's markup. Markup by business. Es como la, la ganancia que va a tener el negocio. Yeah, yeah exactly. But, okay. but that vocabulary is technical English, just related specifically to this area, okay? Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. Mark. Mm. Okay, please share your answers by written in the groups. You got number two, right? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay, what are some examples of fixed cost? Uh, the fixed cost uh, includes items such as uh, the rent for your office. Office rent? and manufacturing space, right? Manufacturing space, yes. Okay, in your case, the answer is this one. Let's see. Please share the answer in the WhatsApp group. You write question number two and give the answer, okay guys? One of you can do it. Okay, guys, tell me what you got. Your question was number three, right? Uh, what, what are, are example? examples of variable costs? Mm -hmm. That's easy. 
Yes, sister. Variable cost includes items that change with your sales volume, uh, like labor and materials, because Perfect. the volume That's of material the depends. Okay. So what are you going to do uh, in the WhatsApp group? Write number three in the answer, please. Okay. Okay. Solo esa línea era la... It's like... Okay, guys. Your group number four, right? Right. So yes. Your question is, how does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Yes. Yes. Hmm. The answer in your case is, there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. Yes. The as prices fall, demand... demand Rises and as prices rise, demand demand falls. Right? Right. Please, yes. in the WhatsApp group, one of you, Amber or Fernando, in the WhatsApp group, I need you to write to text number four and the answer, please. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, Amber. Who are you? And the amount of service Okay, guys, your, yours is the most difficult. What variables influence to determine the markup percentage? Percentage. Do you know what is markup? Yes, yes we... the margin, right? Yes. So in your case, is uh, the amount of plant profit, the type of product or service how rapidly the product sells and the amount of service performed perform by the seller. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. I need you to, in the WhatsApp group, write the number, like number five and those four sentences, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. So you can share it with your classmate. Okay. Okay, perfect, teacher. Thank you. Okay, uh, Francisco. Tell me. Um, we have. Okay. Now, guys, I got, uh, thank you. I'm checking that you did the exercise correctly and you are posting your answers, but I'm, I got a different type of questions for you, okay? Okay, you got here, look in the chat, in the Zoom chat. I got a lot of questions for you. Under what circumstances would you walk out, walk out of a restaurant, refuse a taxi, call the manager of a hotel, wear casual clothes to work? Okay, under what circumstances would you walk out of a restaurant? Um, Fernando, tell me. Under what circumstances would you walk out of a restaurant? 
uh, when, for example, when the, the, the waitress serve the food, uh, cold? Cold? Okay. If the waiter, in this case, it will be when the waiter or if the waiter. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ambar. Welcome. Take guess. Hello, Ambar. Tell me, uh, will, would you mind telling me uh, under what circumstances would you call the manager of a hotel? Sorry, teacher. I don't understand your question. Okay. Under what circumstances? Can you see the, the, the Zoom chat? Whatever chat the Zoom? Okay. I got them there. In your case, I'm asking you, under what circumstances would you, in bajo que circumstances would you, uh, call the manager of a hotel? Llamaría la gerente de un hotel. Um, for example, if my room it have or it have it it be dirty okay. or disorder. Okay, perfect. Yes. Very concise. Excellent. Now let's see. Let's see, Daniel. Daniel, you are the boss of the company. So I got an interesting question for you. Daniel. I think. Yeah, teacher. Oh, there's Daniel. Yes. Okay, Daniel, tell me under what circumstances would you wear casual clothes to work? Mm. Well, for our uh, kind of job, me as uh, the boss, for example, there is no problem that I go to the project with casual clothes. Okay, casual clothing is, is more than a norm. Yeah, and well, but in meetings, I usually go with more Mm. Formal clothing. Formal clothing, yeah. You can say it like this. I usually, for meetings, I I dress up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Dress up means to dress more formally or nicer. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Daniel. Roxana. Thank you. Hello. <clears throat> Tell me, Roxana, under what circumstances would you sleep in a, in a bus? Um, I will sleep in a bus when I just um, arrive in my flight and I'm tired. Okay. After a flight because of jet lag, After, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah, jet lag is a, uh, it's a pain. Yes. Do you know what is jet lag, guys? Jet lag is the, the sensation you feel after a trip on a plane. I mean, uh, you feel like if you've been flying for too long, you feel like uh, pretty tired and out of sync out of synchronization with, with the rest of, of the world. That's called jet lag. And Roxana says that she will sleep on a bus only after the, the board in a plane. Thank you, Roxana. Okay. For, well, Fernando, tell me. Yes, teacher. Okay, what about you? Under what circumstances would you sleep in a bus? Uh, in what circumstances? Sorry, teacher. Would you sleep in a bus? Uh -huh. When I 
went to my office <laughs> before okay. the pandemic. <laughs> before the pandemic, I I always sleep on a bus in the trip because the trip it it's long. was or yeah, it, it was long. San Salvador hey, to Santana. Yeah, sleeping in a bus is actually a, a special type of art. Yeah. Because you usually wake up, you know, you have exact the point where you wake up, right? Right. It's an uh, it's not it's not a special power. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, know, a special that's... power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. But nice. teacher, yes. Fernando is a rich pe people. Fernando has a car. No, but uh, uh, before the pandemic, yes. I, I went to work by bus. Yeah, it's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper <laughs> and it's comfortable because the traffic and the yeah, and the driving, long and distances, <laughs> yeah, driving and long, long distances every day is like ah, terrible. Yeah. Um, I prefer sleep on a bus. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Being there on that. Okay, yeah. let's see. Um, Jose. Hi, teacher. Tell me, under what circumstances would you walk out of a restaurant? Mm, when I was not treated treated kindly yeah. or properly or, excuse me properly you mean uh -huh. uh, kindly or they did not serve me what i ordered okay perfect interesting thank you you're welcome maria alejandra tell me i under what circumstances would you refuse a taxi? Um, I refuse a taxi when the person um, when the person impregnant a uh, no sé, impregn sorry. Um, no sé cómo decirlo, teacher. <laughs> I refuse a taxi or I say, or I refuse a Uber when the person to take a, a trip or el viaje sería. Yeah, for yeah. the trip. Um, uh, take a different route or route, take a different way. And then say me um, or ask me caloric information, but to accept or not my my You're fair fair fair. Uh huh. And was... <laughs> no 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 no. You're fair. Eso quiere decir. Oh man, how do I explain this word? I know the word and the meaning in English, but I don't know how to say it in Spanish. Dale larga, no. No. No, I mean. Uh, Desconfianza. No, yeah, I know that. It's just that uh, when you. When you're traveling, if I have a car and I, I am working as a taxi driver or as an Uber, okay, <laughs> and, and you get into the car, you are my client, and right now I'm taking you to a destination, and somebody calls me, like Fernando calls me and tells me, hey, Douglas, uh, can you take me to Santa Ana? And I tell him, oh, no, I'm sorry. Right now I got a fare. It means tengo un viaje, tengo un cliente, even though the specific word means uh, tarifa, okay? Mm -hmm. Or pasaje, but in this case, it's also fair, can be understood as passenger, passenger, okay? That's the idea. Okay, thank you. No, thanks to you. 
Let's see, let's see. Wilfredo, tell me, under what circumstances would you call the manager of a hotel? When the service teacher, it is, it is doesn't, doesn't good and the people um, don't, um, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, and the servers don't help me when I need something. Um, Sometimes, and this occasion I have to, to talk with the manager. Okay, perfect. Now guys, I got a, a homework for you. Okay, the homework is quite simple, guys. Okay, the homework, let's see. I sent you in the WhatsApp group, I just sent you the questions I've been asking you. Under what circumstances would you walk out of a restaurant, refuse a taxi, call the manager of a hotel, sleep in a train or in a bus station, and wear casual clothes to work? I need you to please, for tomorrow, answer those questions in a piece of paper and send me a picture of it, please. So your homework is to answer those questions. Besides that, I would like to remember that uh, you also need to finish working in the platform. Some of you are still missing some activities, okay, of section three. And today we finish section three. Tomorrow we start the final section, okay? So uh, congratulations. It's been a long effort, but tomorrow we start the final section, okay? So tomorrow we start our last week. Hey guys, let me just get the attendance so you can go to rest. Ambar Elia Alfaro Gomez. Present. Claudia Lisette Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Natanaela Ayala Aristondo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Oscar Ricardo Alvarenga Rodríguez. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Wilfredo, please stay just a few minutes after the class with me, please. Okay. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. And Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Guys, thank you very much. I really enjoyed this class. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye bye. bye. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Tell me, teacher. Okay. okay. Hello. Hello. How are you, Wilfredo? I'll Fine. I'll try to make it as short as possible, vamos a hacer poquito. So you can, you can go to rest. Let's see, solo déjenme arreglar algo que necesito mostrarle. Okay. It's actually from the platform. Más que todo es, ah, 
remember, whenever uh, we have a conversation or a class, okay. I am like paying attention to, to, to you guys and how do you work and little details that perhaps I could help you with. And in your case, I don't know if I show you last time. No sé si ya le había mostrado esto. Let's see. In the platform. Usted tiene acceso a la plataforma acá, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. ¿Ya ha entrado al centro de ayuda? Ah, ok. The last level teacher. You told me about okay. this, this option. Perfect. And yes. I need you. Now I'll be specific. Ahora voy a ser específico. Necesito okay. que se venga a la parte de grammar en intermediate grammar presentations. Quiero okay. que me trabaje con dos puntos específicos. Ok. Eh, el 5. Request can, could, will, would, would you mind? And okay. conclusions. El 5 y el 11. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Must have got to make my food can't. Okay. Now, remember 5 and 11. Okay. In this case, Wilfredo, I am recommending you. Es una recomendación. Okay. Uh, those little, because uh, you are actually very polite when speaking to people. And in English, that's going to help you to be very polite, okay? For us men, uh, it's very important to, to know how to use them. Usted es una persona muy amable cuando habla. But in English, it's a little bit different. In English, those nuances, esos detallitos son bien delicados. And modal verbs help us to be more polite when speaking. Okay. I would like you to check them out. And if any question arise, si alguna pregunta surge, eh, this coming week I will have free spaces. Esta semana voy a tener espacios libres en estas sesiones de uno a uno. Si tiene alguna duda, una aclaración o algo que no quede claro, que usted necesite conversar, podemos tener una sesión de este tipo. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Um, in, in fact, teacher, I, I want to, to, to ask for help, but specifically, specific when, when, when we need to talk with American people, because sometimes they use some model that we, we've never heard this word. For example, they, they, says, they, they say sometimes, sometimes I, I, I call here, for example, when, when, if I talk to you, hey, hey, what's up? But they, they say, hey, what you gonna do, Aldo, si, pero, or what's doom? I, I don't, I, 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 going? I, I what call them. Doing? On, what you going? What you doing? How's it going? But it is, what you, what you going? No, what you doing? How's it, how's it going? How's it going? Uh, oh, Actually, okay. it's it's the structure is very simple, you know. It's the pronunciation, the one that it's a little bit different. How is it going? How's it going? How's it they going? Make it, they make it. Uh, sure. They join. They join the the sounds. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. That's something that I've been uh, trying to get uh, some of your classmates to understand. Uh, when Americans, when they speak, they always get them short, okay? Like uh, gonna, wanna. Yeah. Okay? Contractions are pretty common for them. And the other one, uh, what you doing is this. What are you doing? That's what you're doing. Uh, uh, excuse me, will you repeat? That is what you're doing. What you're doing? Ah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, because when when I call 
told with my cousin in English, I I couldn't understand how they want to say me, say, uh, save me. Yeah. But, yeah, what's you doing? What are uh, you doing? Yeah, and then, but it this the last trip to the, the United greeting, States. The greeting, el saludo is how you doing. It's pronounced like this. Look, it's pronounced how you doing. The idea is how are you doing? Como le va? What you doing? How you doing? How you doing? And but the idea doing? is how are you doing? Como le va? Uh, yes, I I could understand that they they were um, greeting you greet, yes greeting me but i i couldn't understand well the the structure yeah yeah that's pretty informal english actually you know in uh, in the advanced courses you're going to be speaking a lot and you're going to analyze some of these points Ahí vamos a analizar algunos de esos puntos. Ah, okay. But I will, you know what? Uh, I will try to in these five more classes, I will try to set up like a two, two minutes, like five minutes of conversation where am I going to start using that type of vocabulary so everybody get acquainted. Voy a comenzar a ver si meto en las conversaciones aparte unos minutitos para hablar informalmente para que se acostumbren a esos sonidos. Actually, okay, it's a good idea. Nice teacher. And yes, another another thing, teacher. I I, I want to to ask for help to you. It is, um, if 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 you if do you have some advan advans, uh, consejos, advan advices, advices for that to improve the listening. Sometimes, teacher, I try to 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 watch news in English. I, I like to see CNN because um, uh, many many programs and I I could I could find very nice exercise to to talk with 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 officer custom. Yeah, practicing is is always important and helps a lot. Well, uh, remember, it's very important for you to, to practice. Follow the ones that I told you. They're going to help you a lot, believe me. I use them with my students and it helps. The, 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 the fact of being listening or being practicing, it's going to make a vocabulary easy for you. And uh -huh. I mean, as long as you hear more, the more you hear, the easier it's going to be for you to speak. Mientras mejor escuche, se va a volver mejor para hablar. Because, yeah, because it, will, can... it will give you confidence. No solo porque va a agarrar vocabulario, sino porque le va a dar mayor seguridad a la hora de responder. So, ah, okay. the listening, that's the important part of the listening exercises. Es lo importante de los listening that they help us to get more confidence. Mientras uno más entiende de lo que está escuchando, es como en una conversación normal. O sea, alguien comienza a exponer un tema. Si usted lo va entendiendo, pues se siente más seguro de participar, right? Okay. And the same happens with English. I mean, the, the better you understand what you are listening, the easier it's for you to be, to be part of the conversation. Yes. Okay. Okay, teacher. Very, very nice. This. No, it's good. This, it's always this. good to have these little sessions. Remember, with Carol, check it out. And if you have any any doubt, any question, I have a free spot on Friday, and I got another one on Monday. Puedo hacer un espacio el viernes o lunes. You just remind me, please. Okay. Okay. Monday, maybe, teacher, if you 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 will help me, it's going to be nice because tomorrow and Friday, I I don't know what time we are going to finish in my job. 
because oh, okay. we're going oh, yeah, to, you got the inventory. Yes, but sometimes we have to work at until night, night. But I don't know. I don't know what I am going to arrive at home. Perfect. And if you perhaps if you have time on the weekend, check it out a little bit. Okay. Do from the exercise that I told you, the los ejercicios de listening. I recommend you one per day, uno a la vez. Okay. Oh, okay. Take your time. It is progress. Do more that... than one. Teacher. No haga más de uno. Ah, yes. Okay. It is progressive. The the um, um, not even difficult, but it is. Yes, it is progressive. Yes, you got uh, you got beginner. Then we go to intermediate. Then ah, okay. we have advanced. Okay. No worry. Ah, okay. It's good. It's very okay, teacher. interesting. Thank you, thank you, teacher, for your help. No, thanks to you I for staying you. here. Have a okay, good night teacher. With, uh, Take care. Okay. Good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow, teacher. Right. Good night. Let's see you tomorrow. Bye.